That's it, we've got sausage rolls on the menu today again, uh, but this time they have got some meat in there. But they've got to tell you what, those sausage rolls yesterday were really, really good, the vegetarian ones, so these have got a lot of uh, work to do to be any better. So we're going to use pork as a base, so some nice lean pork mince, we've got some onions in there, some fennel as well, that's where we're going to get all the flavour in. Works really well with pork, we're going to toast that make the sausage rolls a little bit different than yesterday, and then we've got a spicy ketchup to serve with them. It's going to be great. Stay tuned. Over to you, Mel. And we are back in the cafe kitchen with the crowd pleaser on the menu, Mark. We are doing sausage rolls, but it's your version, so I'm sure these are going to be delicious. Yep, that's right. So we've got, um, we've got pork mince, yep. so really healthy, nice and lean, and we're going to flavour it. So the main flavour... These beautiful it's fennel, fennel seeds here. Yeah, nice. It's a good combo, pork and fennel, isn't it? Oh, it's brilliant. Classic. OK. Um, dry pan. I'm going to toast the fennel seeds first. Yep. Get a light toasting on there, release all that flavour, and then we're just going to give them a little crush in the pestle and mortar. I still want a bit of texture in there, yeah. but it's just going to release that real fennel -y flavour. OK, so lightly toast and then we're going yep. to crush them. In the meantime, you That's chop it up some onions. So yeah. No doubt we're going to be, hang on, let me guess, sweating <laughs> down the onions. Very good. I oh, know, so I'm learning here. <laughs> learning. That's good. Hey, um, DB before on travel was talking about Bannockburn. You had a stag do a Yeah, once. yeah, yeah, we did. We good did times? At, at the uh, hotel, yeah, it was fantastic. It was carnage. <laughs> nice work. No, because I, um, one of my favourite school camps was at Bannockburn when I was a little tot. Oh, uh, I always fond memories of that place. Thanks, Debbie, for reminding me how yeah. cool it is. Yeah, and all those memories. Yeah, and all those memories. <laughs> Long time ago. Okay, okay, a little cool. bit of salt and pepper with the onions. Mm -hmm. So just sweat those down. Okay, I'll look after these for you. Yeah. Lovely, lovely. Right, so just the fennel seeds. So dry pan, don't want to get any oil in there, and just keep them on the go, just over a medium heat. And how do you know when they're kind of done? Well, you're gonna you're gonna smell them first, but you're gonna see there's gonna be a light little light colour there. Okay. We don't want to take them too far. Right. But as you can you can start smelling that now. Yeah, I can smell that. Yeah. yeah. And it's just going to get toasting. So just really control that heat as well. If it's getting too hot, turn it down a little bit. Keep them on the go. I'm going to give them a little bit longer and then we'll start crushing them. Nice work. Right, so we're going to prepare our mince now. Pork mince, nice and lean, good. Yes, yeah, so it's really good. So good idea. Leave it out about 10 minutes, room temperature, and then it's a lot easier to mix and incorporate. Ah, nice tip. Good work. Yeah. The sausage rolls that had no meat in them yesterday were really good. So as you said earlier, <laughs> they've got a lot to live up to, the pork ones, haven't they? No, they were, they were really nice, actually. Yeah, they were know. great. Went down a treat here with the crew. Right, so just going to pop them in, so you can smell it now. And then just grinding it, you know, just a little bit, and then just start crushing those seeds. You know, it's just going to release all that flavour. Mm, Don't take it too fine. Wow, that's, that's incredible. Yeah, it's a really aniseed, Woo, isn't it? Yum. So you still want a bit of uh, texture in there, so don't don't take it down to a powder. Okay, so don't powder it. There's a little no. bit of texture. And then and we're going to back in the onion. Pop that in the onions. Nice. About halfway through, and then that's just going to flavour the onions. Okay, right. nice. I'm just going to grab this. So just going to pop some eggs in there. So this will just soften the mixture, and just uh, you know keep that moisture in there. I've got some breadcrumbs as well. So give it a really good mix. Make sure it's all incorporated. And then because you're using mince. You know, there's no um, seasoning in here, so we're going to need to season this meat, and you've got to season it quite a lot, you know, so it will look like we're putting lots of salt and pepper in here. Right. But and you I'm need sure to. you'll pick up on that. Yeah, nice. Um, <laughs> but you do need to do that. And it's always a good idea, you know, put a bit in first, um, and then just fry a little bit off and then taste it. OK, All cool. Because right? if you don't do that and you I think like you've put it. enough in yep, and you haven't, good. you make the whole sausage roll and it'll just nice. ruin it. I like eating whilst I'm cooking. It's quite good. Yeah. <laughs> 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 okay, so is that the second egg you put? Yeah, in? so I'm just gonna put okay. another another egg in there. Nice. Okay, and then cool. And get some breadcrumbs in there just to hold it. Okay, and then good. I'm gonna start seasoning that, and then you know, give the, uh, the, onions. the onions a little bit longer, and then we'll pop the onions in here as well and give it a good mix up. But the okay. same same like yesterday, you know, use the use the meat as a base and yeah. put any flavourings you want in there. You okay, know, put nice. vegetables in there. You could blitz some carrots up as well with the uh, onions. That'd oh, be yeah. really nice, you know, just fry that off a little bit, give it an extra bit of sweetness. I don't know about the carrot bits in mine. Well, anyway, <laughs> <laughs> this isn't for me, this is for you at home and everybody watching and everyone here in the studio. Our guests will probably okay. be able to... And, Enjoy these a little later on. So heaps more salt. So yeah, the, you're yeah, right. Yeah, a lot see, of salt, yeah, a lot of pepper. Yeah, 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 it does seem a lot, but it's very. You know, you got to imagine like that. It's pretty much 95% pork mince there, and there's no uh, seasoning or or flavour in that. You know, okay. so you need to bring it out. Right. So do we need to cool down? Because yesterday we cooled down the onions before we. Yeah, no, no, to no, the no that's fine. You can uh, pop them straight, and you can actually put them in now. That's all good. Okay, cool. 
Done, done, done. They smell incredible with that fennel. That's oh. it. It's just simple flavours, but just work really well. There you go. All right, so I'm just going to mix that through, and then it's a good idea to cool the mix. So I pop the once it's all mixed through, cool it in the fridge, and then we can wrap our uh, wrap it in puff pastry. You know, if you if you do it too fast, you know, your puff pastry is really soft, um, and it's just going to make it really hard to uh, wrap. Okay, and what what are we going to have with these? Because I know you like your dressing. So what are right, you mixing so, up for us today? Yeah, so a classic uh, sauce to go with sausage roll, ketchup. Ooh, well, ooh. We're going to do a little twist. We've got a nice little Asian spicy ketchup. It's oh, going to make later. Fantastic. Okay, and any tips on the puff pastry? Do you need to make sure you get that out of the fridge and thaw it, or is it okay? No, yeah, yeah. A couple of minutes beforehand. No, I what mean, make, make sure it's thawed out in the fridge, but make yep. sure it's really chilled. So the colder it is, the easier it is to work with, and uh, cook it in a nice hot oven so it puffs, goes nice and crispy. Nice work. You are full of fantastic tips today. Thank you so <laughs> much, Mark. Uh, we'll check out how to do that spicy ketchup in just a minute. They're going to go perfectly with those sausage rolls. <laughs> okay, right now we are back in the cafe, uh, and just before we finish off this mix, you're just adding a bit of garlic, give it yep. a bit more flavour. So yep. a little bit of garlic, so I'm really going to crush it down, so just keep chopping it, squash it with the back of your knife, okay, and then just keep fine. doing it, yeah, yeah, release all those oils, so it's nice and fine. Nice work. And then just going to pop that in as well. Okay, so these are the sausage rolls that we are making. We've got our mixture all sorted. If you just joined us and you missed the mixture, you can go to the cafe.co.nz. That's where we put all the recipes. So you can just print it out and use it. You can even watch the videos for a step-by-step -step guide on how to make things Mark styles. Okay, <laughs> now you've got your flaky pastry. Yeah. The tip before you gave was quite good. So I just thought you'd leave it out on the bench, but you don't want to warm it up too much. No, no, no. So you can see, I mean, this is this is already quite soft, but it's pliable. Yeah. But it's good. Any softer than that, and then when you actually make it, or if you Mix is hot and you make it, you know, it's, it. it's going to make it really hot and it's going to release all that butter. Ah, so the whole okay, thing with cool. flaky pastry and puff pastry is there's butter between the layers and that's yeah. why it puffs. Ah, nice. Okay, cool. That's why it poofs. Puffs. Love that. <laughs> okay, cool. <laughs> right. So it's filling just like we did yesterday, actually, yeah, on yesterday's yeah. show. Yeah, so you can pretty much do the same. So just sort of shape it as you go along. Yep. Gonna, you know, be quite generous. I mean, you can do any sizes you want with these. These yeah. are going to be like little individual sort of yummy um, 80s wedding party sausage rolls. Nice. You know, it's great. Nice. Um, you can do giant ones. You can do, you know, you can do anything. Serve it whole. Well, I like this. You know, every now and again, it's a bit of a treat. The old sausage roll from the bakeries, you know, quite nice. But people care about where their food's coming from nowadays. So I guess with this, you oh, know, definitely. where your meats come from, you know, where yeah. your veggies are come from, <laughs> you can do it to your liking. Exactly. And you, can, and you can put whatever flavour you want in there, right? So. Just nice and important now. Just curl that around. Make it nice and tight. Yep. Same as we did yesterday. Bit of egg wash. Flip it over. Oh, that's looking you know, good already. And just give it give it a nice little shape. And just, you know, make sure you're, you know, you're overlapping. And you've got that. Right. Put a bit okay. too much filling in I there. Think you, I think you did <laughs> overstuff it, didn't you? It's all right. I'll eat those right. ones. And then, you know, just push it to the end. Yep. And you've got it nice and tight now. So, so this is what you want to do. Just give it a little brush. So yeah. the egg, the egg yolk as well, like brushing it. You know, yesterday we stuck all the um, sesame seeds on there, which mm -hmm. is fine. So it helps things stick, but it gives it a nice colour as well in the oven. Nice. Okay. Right. Good. So now, instead of doing a whole one, I'm going to portion them, portion them up, and cook them individually. So, so geez, that one looks like a little one. But yeah. Just, <laughs> well, just trimming the mouth. That's mouse. <laughs> that's mouse. <laughs> so, so we just do that. Yep. And they're just ready to go. Okay, so and I guess you've got to watch you. yeah, how you space them as well, because they will puff up, won't yeah, they? Yeah, they will puff up, you know, so we're just popping them in. Give them all a little bit of space. Yeah. And then, you know, that's enough space there. Yeah. Hot oven, let them puff, serve them, you know, take them out, serve them straight away. Really good. Brilliant. Really nice. So, that's that, nice and easy. Okay, you don't want me to roll some while you do your kitchen? Oh, no, yeah, you can do that. Okay, nice. Right. <laughs> let you loose in the kitchen again. Oh, yeah, here we go, good. I'm getting better at this, so, Mark, I'm learning from the best, you see. <laughs> So a little tip for you to get a really good shape on there is to roll them all up, pop them back in the fridge for about another sort of 15, 20 minutes to harden up, and then you can cut them and you get them nice and um, oh, okay. nice and even. Nice. If it gets too hot, you're not going to get the shape in there. Right, we're going to make a little bit of uh, a spicy ketchup. So I've got a little bit of water, so it's a really hot pan. We can just do this from cold. So just a little bit of water, just to loosen it. And I've got some fermented chilies there. So that's going to go in, gives us a nice tang and a bit of heat. A little bit of ketchup as well. A little bit of soy sauce. It's a really hot pan. Yeah, isn't it? Cooking with gas. And a little bit of mirin as well. Mirin? Yeah. Like Helen. <laughs> <laughs>
Uh. <laughs> <laughs> it's an easy way to remember it. Uh. Yeah, OK. Very, right. very good, Mike. Thank you. And then just so mix it all together. Give it a really good stir. Mm. And then we're just going to keep it on a low heat and just bubble it away. Just get all those flavours to come together. It smells incredible from just here. Let it, let it cook. And you've got, you know, you've got salty, sweet, tangy and a nice bit of heat as well. So it's mm. going to be great with the sausage rolls. The fermented chilies aren't going to make it too hot, are they? No. OK, good. <laughs> I don't trust you, Mark. <laughs> anyway, the sauce is an added extra, isn't it? So. Yeah, exactly. And if you don't like it, you just, you just don't serve it. With some it. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> okay, cool. Beautiful. So, Tom, finishing off a sausage yep. roll here. I'm going to trim up the ends a little bit. Oops, oh, maybe a bit more. Uh, I think I've managed to lap <laughs> it <laughs> over quite nicely. Is that your and portion? Then, and then oh, I need to glaze it before I get yeah, that's, that's, yeah. that's my one. <laughs> a big one just like that. <laughs> okay, so put some of this on. <laughs> yeah, you lot behave in the audience, eh? <laughs> OK. Righty-o, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to cut this up. I'm going to add it to the tray. Yeah, go on, cook them. Cut nice it work. We are ready. So they're cooked nice and golden, crispy, very hot. We've got the sauce there. Just reduce it down, packed full of flavour, and you can try them now. Mm. Oh, yeah. Oh, they look spectacular. Ooh. There you go. OK, oh. we promised Jace and LJ some, so uh, we'll, we'll let you have first. Straight over yeah. there. Amen. <laughs> I'm very happy about this. What's on the menu tomorrow? Well, tomorrow we're going to do a Thai classic, Tom Yum Guy Soup. Yum! Spicy. I love that, actually. Oh, thank you.